Hi y'all, it's sun, uh, Saturday afternoon. It's a beautiful day. It's the first day of spring and I'm so excited about that. Uh, Bob and I are actually going on a trip tomorrow with uh, taking some friends with us and we're going up to Gibbs Gardens, which is a beautiful gardens uh, place in north of Atlanta and it's got thousands and thousands of bulbs blooming right now. So daffodils, tulips, whatever. I am so excited. It'll be my first time going there and I will uh, try to take some videos for y'all and so I can show you tomorrow. But um, anyway, it's going to be a fun trip. And Monday is mine and Bob's 13th wedding anniversary. So this is sort of a little trip that we could do on the weekend because on Monday, most things are closed uh, like that. So anyhow, tonight Bob is grilling some steaks. And so instead of just having our traditional baked potatoes with it, I thought I'd make some consomme rice. Um, so what I've got over here in the skillet is a stick of butter. As you can see that, just a stick of butter. It's hard to see in that white pan. But, um, and then I'm just gonna put some rice in there, which would be more white, so you may not see that either. But and yeah, it's a cup of rice. I'll just add into this butter after it melts. So I'm gonna let it get going, melting. And then I'll add the rice in. In the meantime, I'm gonna chop up an onion. I've got it. We're gonna be adding onion and some portobello mushrooms. Uh, you don't have to add the mushrooms, but we, we really like mushrooms, so we'll be adding those in. And then it's just consomme. Um, like this is the beef consomme and you can either use two cans of that or one can of that and um, then another can of beef broth. I didn't have two cans so I'm just going to do you know, a can of consomme and then I'll fill the can up with the beef broth. Sometimes you just have to make do with the recipe and I figured the beef broth's not quite as good as the consomme but it's a close second. So that'll work. All right, so this is melting enough that I think I can pour this rice in and just let it keep melting. Oh, I'll chop up these onions. So you just want this, bright, this rice to um, start slightly browning. Just helps to um, break it up a little bit so then it'll absorb the liquids and cook uh, quicker in, when we put it in the oven. Because this is going to be a dish that I can prepare and put it in the oven and it'll cook for about an hour. And in the meantime, we will go outside and I'll show you some of my things that are blooming around here in preparation for spring. It's just so pretty out in the yard right now. Finish getting this all chopped up. Alright, well while this is cooking, I'm just going to pause the video and get back with you as soon as it, uh, as the rice gets ready. Okay, the rice is browned. It's just slightly browned. I think you can see. Let me show you. Just slightly browned. It's all in this good butter. So, and I've already got a uh, chopped up the mushrooms and the onions together and put it in here. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle the rice over the top of it and the butter. And I'm gonna stir this all up so it doesn't matter um, if I'm not evenly distributing it right now. All right. So, I'm going to, at this point, go ahead and add a little bit of salt, about a half a teaspoon of salt. You don't need too much because I think there's plenty of salt in the um, consomme. And then I'll put about that much pepper as well. So now I'm just going to pour this consomme in here and stir this all up. Add a 
can of the beef broth. It looks about the same, it's dark, just like the consomme was. Might just not be as concentrated. All right, I know that looks like a lot of liquid, but rice really soaks up liquid when it cooks. And this is gonna cook for a whole hour, so I think we've got it mixed up pretty good now. The key here is I'm gonna to have to cover it because we don't want the liquid to just evaporate in the oven. We want it to be covered so that it all cooks down in there and the rice absorbs it. So anyhow, that's it for this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven so I'll be ready and then we'll go outside. All right, y'all, we're outside now, and I want to show you what I've got blooming out here that I'm so excited about. Look at this. Let me turn the camera around. Look at my beautiful irises. Got some purple and yellow ones blooming right now. I've had white ones pretty much all winter, but I'm just so tickled. These, these purple and yellow ones have just now come started blooming and then over here i've got this trellis full of yellow jasmine blooming like crazy and down in my little pots i've got some little i think that's verbena blooming and then there's the chicken coop down there I'm excited because my fig tree is putting out leaves. Look at all the leaves on here. It's going to be loaded with them. And actually, maybe some little figs on there too. You see those little figs already starting? That's just amazing to me. We love to eat these figs. I, I like to eat them just right off the tree. Look at that. You can see the little bitty figs on there. There's the sun trying to set through the, through the woods. You know, the chickens see me. They think I'm bringing them something to eat. I had some hyacinths blooming, but it looks like they finished up. So don't have those right now. Let's go around to the front, and I'll show you what I got around there. Hold on a second. I just got these three big, beautiful Kimberly ferns. Just bought them uh, from the Optimist Club, so I'm going to get some pretty pots to put those in. Go on, Minnie, go. And there's our um, Bradford pear in full bloom right here. There's Bob in our little golf cart. He's just gone out in the woods. Practices, target practice, I think. But look at this cherry tree. Is this beautiful or what? And I can see this from a swing bed. And what I'm most excited about, beside the cherry tree, is this bush right here and it's just about to pop wide open with little white blooms that look like cascading snowfall but it is just covered with all these little blooms see all those little blooms and there's this is what they'll look like as they open up just beautiful little white flowers but oh my gosh it is loaded with these and they'll just cascade over. For the last several years, it's been like this, and then we'd get a hard freeze, and it would just mess them all up. But according to the weather report, that's not gonna happen this year. So they should be beautiful, beautiful real soon. So that's pretty much it, except I do have some azaleas blooming over here that are really pretty. I buy the Encore azaleas, and they just bloom pretty much all year. There were some blooming at Christmas, even. 
they're uh, in different colors. So, but anyhow, that's my big gardenia bushes. Those are going to be loaded this year too, but there it's not time for them to start yet. Anyhow, that's it. The tour of the outside. I think I'm going to sit up there on the bed for a little bit. Talk to y'all in a little bit. Okay, y'all. I've just taken this out of the oven. And you can see it looks scrumptious. The, the, <clears throat> the rice has absorbed the liquids. I've tasted it, and it, the rice is done. It's nice and tender. It baked for one hour at 350 degrees. And now I'm just going to let it sit here and stay warm until Bob gets the steaks ready. That's it. Y'all have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye-bye.